You know, my parents always used to yell at me to get a job. Hmm. Well, the time has come. We finally got to start writing. I know. Who would have thought you'd have to do that in a writing class? So let's talk about that first assignment. At one point in time, you're going to graduate, assuming everything goes well. And I'm betting that when you do graduate, one of the things you're going to end up doing shortly thereafter is looking for a job. Now, this isn't probably going to be the only time you look for a job. You might end up looking for a new job if you have a coworker who's a jerk. You might end up looking for a new job if you've decided that your job just isn't fun or might be slightly dangerous. Incidentally, if you ever wonder what the most dangerous jobs are, hunters, fishers, loggers, roofers, construction, airline pilots, garbage recycling, strangely enough, police doesn't come anywhere on the list. But I guess that's another argument, isn't it? Anyway, another reason you might want to get another job is because you have decided that you just want to make money. All these are perfectly viable reasons for wanting to go get a new job. And most people do end up moving from career to career. If you look at the median age of tenure with current employer by industry, in the federal government you might stay with your employer for eight years or so. If you're in the leisure industry, a little over two. The average seems to be somewhere around every four years or so, you're probably going to be looking for a new job. It's a nice fiction that you'd stay in the same job forever, but it doesn't seem to be based on, or at least have any relationship to our current reality. So looking for a job, looking for a great job, is going to be something that you're going to get to do a lot. And the first major assignment for us, the job application material, is focused just on that. You're going to specifically look for, find, and apply for a job. As always, check your class's specific major assignment sheet to get the details. But the job application material assignment asks you to find a specific actual job posting for a company in your field and prepare application material. The job in question can be a standard entry-level position or anything else for which you might actually apply. To do the best job, you should research your company and the position, and you should use that information to better craft your application material. This will include a job posting for a specific position in an actual company, a resume, and a letter of application. To get the job posting, go to any one of the job search websites, or you can go to the specific major employers in your field. If you know you want to go into, say, aerospace, Looking at Boeing might be a possibility, and lots of major companies do put their job postings on their web pages. And when you find that job posting, simply save it as a PDF, and that will be fine to turn in. As far as the resume and the letter, those are ones you're going to get to construct yourself. And we'll talk more about that, and of course, details are in your textbook. You're going to submit these as three separate documents, and... You are also going to write these as if you are actually have been in the field for two years. Uh, this document should be based on where you actually imagine yourself if, after the graduation, you spend two years working as a professional writer. The information may be embellished, but it should follow logically from your current skills and experiences. So imagine yourself a few years after graduation, and that's going to be what you're going to use to write your job application. Be reasonable. Don't say you invented time travel or something like that, but this gives you a chance to think about where your career path is actually going. Plus, if you write this as if you've been in the field for a couple of years, you're going to have a lot more material to work with than if you did it right now. A couple notes about this. Notes, get it? Notes. With any luck, you're going to find a job you really like. But with any job, you are not going to be the only person applying for it. Lots of people will be applying for the jobs. 
in depending on how the job market is in your particular field, there might be anywhere from 20 to 30 people competing for your job up to several hundreds. And in this circumstances, it really benefits the people who own the companies. They can really go through and look for the best possible candidates. So you have to find a way to stand out from the crowd. How do you do this? Well, we'll be watching a video a little bit later, which gives you a lot more concrete advice for how to do a good job application and different mental approaches to take. But here are a few hints. Generic job applications, ones that look like they could be written for any job, ones that look big broad are not going to stand out from the crowd. Customize your job application material for the specific job. So the more you learn about that specific job, the better off you're going to be. Looks also matter. Good looking application material will get you another look. If it looks ugly or is hard to read, your stuff is probably gonna to get tossed. And we do have a couple of videos upcoming on that, on document design mostly. That's the job application material assignment. I'm gonna to try to give you good feedback on this one. It's the one that I suspect you're gonna go back to more often than the others, because this is one I know you're going to have real world application for. If I, looking for a job, finding a job, none of that's ever fun. But if you really pay attention and you really use a bit of creativity, you can do a good job. I have faith. See you in the next video.